What is good YouTube? It's your boy Alex back with another video and today I'll be showing you how to buy sneakers for retail um just to put a, a disclaimer out there I am a beginner so this is just like level one for me when it comes to buying uh, sneakers for retail uh, at retail stores as well all right so how to get them for retail um so I watched this guy named uh, sniper kicks on YouTube he does um, a lot of like videos where he pick up shoes for um, from like retail stores and not actually you know buying online even though he does sometimes um, and he, he mainly does like the little flex app um, which is you know like a few uh, retail stores that are combined and then you can um, get flex points and end up you know getting uh, reservation for like hype shoes uh, so he does that. He buys shoes at the mall. Um, he lives in uh, Chicago, so you know um, there's a lot of places uh, where you can get them. Um, but for me, I'm located in a place that's not very populated. But I mean, we still have these uh, retail stores. So, um, so I'm gonna share with y'all guys my experience. Um, I'm gonna just say it out right now. For me personally, Finish Line has been working the best out of all the retail stores um, when it comes to like, you know, Jimmy Jazz, Champs, uh, Foot Locker, Foot Action. Finish Line has definitely been the uh, place where I get my shoes. So before we get into what's hype right now, which is the Carmines, I was able to pick up a pair of the Volts at Finish Line, size 10 and a half, I believe. And then I got a 12 and a half, um, which I cop from sneakers, which is, you know, base luck. So I don't really want to count that. But uh, I did get uh, my first, you know, general release type of shoe uh, from Finish Line. And I tried, you know, all the other stores that were in that mall. It's not too big. It's just a regular mall. It's not you know like one of the biggest ones it's not even i would call it considered just a small mall but um foot there's a foot action in there there's a hibbits there's a finish line and i think there was a foot locker um but all of them said no except for finish line so i had a uh, face when it came to finish line with picking up these car mines release day was on the 13th of february uh, i went i think to try to get any pairs but um all the stores told me they were doing reserves so they couldn't really let go of any shoes until um well finish line told me until you know the next day which would have been uh, a sunday and then the other ones told me monday so um i still went out you know the following day after the release and i was able to pick up my finish line pair which i got a size 11. Uh, at the time they told me they only had size 11 and 10 and obviously the bigger sizes were are selling for the most so you know i took the biggest size shoe um and these are it right here um i don't really see any discolor discoloration on the midsole uh, they are pretty clean yeah so um for me i kind of see like a little like very small hint of pink or maybe it's just that's how it's supposed to be but it's all right you know it's not very bad where they have to send it back so uh, i'm pretty sure these will be okay to sell so yeah i was able to get this one on sunday um and then i picked up my last pair right here um as you can see finish line as well um so this was uh this is my monday pickup um yeah monday pickup and i was able to get a size 10 and a half uh, i originally thought it was a 10 but it was 10 and a half and again it was finish line so originally i had went to you know my local mall um with uh the three or four stores in there. Uh, I didn't ask Hibbits if they had any. Um, and then I asked the other stores if they had any pairs. Finish Line didn't give me another pair because I think the guy that sold me the uh, 11s 
uh, was there and I guess they didn't want to sell it to me and then Foot Action said that they didn't have any even though when I was in the line for the uh, size 11s there was a guy that I met um, which is very important uh, make sure you're like you know trying to make connections uh, where you're at especially if you're just up and coming beginner um, you never know what uh, someone might you know do for you or you know same same thing for them you gotta do something for them um it goes both ways but yeah uh, i met this guy he gave he told me that he had a pair of uh size six from the car mines um and he didn't pick them up at foot action within the same mall and i told him i, I wanted to see what they had available first before you know buy his pair um but i, I wasn't really trying to buy it because um you know it was a grade school pair and i don't think the grade grade school pair are doing as good um, I was just looking for like men's sizes especially the bigger sizes um, but yeah um, we, we exchanged numbers and now I have someone I can contact when it comes to sneakers so yeah that was a good takeaway on that you know foot action told me that they ain't have any pairs even though they did uh, well I guess grade school and then I didn't ask Hibbits I think I already said that but uh, um, is there a foot lock I don't think it's a foot lock in there I don't know I keep forgetting if there is one, but I don't think there. Yeah, that, there. I don't think there is. It's at the second mall where there is a Foot Locker, um, but they told me they didn't have any. Jimmy Jazz told me they didn't have any, and um, Champs told me they didn't have any. And like I said, I got a pair from Finish Line. So, um, so far, I would say go for Finish Line after release day. Um, you know around like 11 or 12 i think people say 12 but you know i try to get there at 11 or 12 and try to get my pair so when it comes to these general releases shoes i would say finish line all the way and then try to get the other ones because uh, i actually tried to get a foot locker which um they kept telling me to wait till monday to see if they had any available there was another place a few miles down the road of another foot locker and they did say that they had the uh, car mines but they didn't know when they could release it like i was like well, how do you know um but it's whatever uh i just ended up just with these two because i was able to pick up um uh the jordan three cool grays uh for from exclusive access which gave me the early pair and you know i just checked on stock x the day before they gave us access and size 13 was the one that was selling the most and so that's what i went for and it was an easy cop so i sold three shoes within you know what these last two two to three days i um, probably made around 90 dollars from all three um i am trying to take my business a little bit serious so uh, I'm gonna make sure to keep all this in track and so whenever I have to file for taxes, you know, I'll be good So like I was I like I keep saying um, finish line seems to be the place for me It might be different for you. So I would say go to all the stores. I always go to every single store um, At least once to ask them if they have any pairs and if, if they if they say, you know after the second day uh, from the release day that you can be able to you might as well just try because you never know you might be able to get a good pair and be able to resell them but yeah that's pretty much it uh please don't forget to like comment subscribe for more content but other than that i got nothing else for y'all guys peace